Hey guys, welcome to the solder paste burn test. In this corner I have uh, Chinese best brand um, solder paste. In this corner I have Kester US made uh, leaded paste. And I'm just going to do a burn test with my hand torch here. Uh, I recently had a bad experience with the Chinese paste and decided to get rid of it. But instead of just throwing it away, I'm uh, going to have some fun and uh, destroy it for your enjoyment. So I'm just going to burn the Kester paste first and then uh, move on to the Chinese paste in small samples and then uh, finally uh, burn the whole uh, Chinese paste. So let's see some action. Let's kill some paste here. Let me turn this on. first liquefies and then starts boiling and a large uh, part of the flux gets uh, evaporated and then at some point this thing should just uh, reflow into one large chunk of solder. There we go. There's some flaming, some fumes and there we go. It's done. Nothing very surprising. Uh, of course, when reflowing this in an oven, you wouldn't see any flames and uh, all the spectacular uh, fuming. But anyway, let's move on to the Chinese paste. Oh boy, look at that. It tends to react much faster. It gets this nasty uh, effect on the side here. I don't know what that is. It starts to reflow quite early on. Wow, look at that. It's very blackish. And it smells much worse, let me just tell you that. And that flux is uh, a lot darker in appearance than uh, this one. And of course there's a lot more of it. And also you can see there's a bunch more solder balls in the flux and that's because the flux is very low quality and basically it doesn't allow the uh, solder balls to reflow properly and I detailed that effect uh, or that uh, side effect of this flux uh, in my recent blog post so check that out and now that we've seen those two let's move on to the larger one I'm keeping this uh, at a reasonable distance. Even so, this uh, large chunk of paste just starts to melt and uh, liquefy, and it shouldn't do that so early on, just because it's a much larger mass than the smaller one. Even so, it just starts to 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 flow so early on. pretty nasty actually. Uh, it smells really bad. I'm having some ventilation here. I'm near the door and there's some air flowing. Making sure I'm not inhaling this. Uh, now it's not even reflowing. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Gotta apply more heat, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, at this point it's producing flames and a lot of fumes too. You just can't see the fumes very well. Those are probably not good for you, they're very black. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Cheap Chinese paste. You should probably not try this at home and 
course not buy this paste if you want uh, professional results when you reflow your PCBs. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, make sure you re read my blog post about solder paste and why you should not buy uh, Chinese branded paste. It's really not worth it. Yeah, one thing I really wanted to point out was how many little uh, uh, balls of solder get uh, formed when you reflow this paste, but do not actually reflow into the larger uh, chunks of solder. And that's really problematic because, uh, you know, they might cause some shorting or uh, they're just messy, um, even if they're, they're not actually forming uh, shorts on your boards. And also the, the huge amount of uh, flux residue that gets left over. You can't actually see that with the naked eye unless you use a loop or uh, look through a microscope at your boards. But it's very obvious here. Um, if you look at the U.S. branded paste, Kester, and I'm actually using um, no lead, no clean chip quick paste, and it's very similar. It just is not leaded. This is leaded. Uh, that one also does not have uh, a lot of flux residue left over, uh, and that's very nice. And of course, there's no uh, tiny balls of solder all around uh, the main uh, solder pads. So, yeah, that's a huge uh, issue that I've had with this paste. I had to um, do a lot of reworking of uh, some PCBs that I assembled using this paste. So, uh, I hope uh, you see that it's pretty obvious the, the Chinese paste is, is cheap, but... Um, there's a good reason why it's cheap, because uh, it has a ton of flux residue and it's just no good. So uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later.